yesterday we had a bit of an off day uh, where Caroline went to see Kirkwall and James and I had a bit of an admin day planning the next jobs and today we're back in the swing of doing things for the farm so we're going through the list, uh, planting the garlic, preparing the beds for the spring so Caroline and James are already in the field and I'm just going to join them now and see, see what needs doing so see you in a bit doing the garden chores. We cleared the chicken house and so our compost heap got really full but James says if you put some water on it um, it should compost down and compact in a couple of days time so we'll see if that works. And it went really well and then Caroline started working on the pond weeds and realized that they're rather deeper and more established than we first thought. So we've done some research and it turns out that our options are either to keep raking off the top layer and hoping that eventually the roots die off or we can try to cover it with a plastic sheet and starve it of some sunlight so then the roots die, dry no, so then the roots die, die. <laughs> so we found some heavy plastic sheeting in the caravan the other day and we decided to use that to put over the pond and then weigh it down with rocks. <laughs> now it's easier said than done. We managed to just about, in all this wind, manage to cover it up, pond up in this plastic sheet um, and then James bravely jumped into the pond and tried to weigh it down but because there's so much air that we trapped, the sheet just kept floating to the surface. So the only option we could find was to put some more water on top so that it weighs it down as it fills up and then hoping that the sheeting sinks to the bottom. But we didn't have a hose long enough and I did try to connect the two but that didn't work out. So then we found a longer one, which is buried in all this grass so we needed to uncover that and then yes yeah, so and then we found that there's a hole which uh, sprayed Caroline with water so that was funny <laughs> um, but we think we managed to connect it all now and so it's filling up with water and we're hoping that our plan works and it sinks to the bottom and then starves the weeds of sunlight and so they all die before the dugs go in we got a wrench, yay. yay! which means we can now try to change the gas canister because it ran out and it got stuck and we didn't have the wrench to undo the valve to change it so we've been cooking on campfire. Nothing wrong with the campfire. It's actually really nice, yeah we might actually continue to do that. Saves us gas. Yeah. But we'll tr we'll see if we can try to undo it. Yeah, what else has been happening? Taken some garlic out to be planted out. We're a little bit late. You should always plant garlic on the shortest night, uh, which is Christmas, and then uh, harvest it on the uh, longest day, which is sometime in June. But uh, it's now 26th of uh, January. So, uh, See what happens. I think that's it. We planted the garlic. We planted the garlic, yes. Yes, a bit late, but it's I planted. Think, yeah, I said it. Yay! It's Thursday 20th of December and there's a traditional dance event going on on the island. So we're going to that. Uh, we're very excited as this is the first time in many weeks that we had a chance to dress up um, and uh, have a good time. So yay, we're going to the ball, yay! Looking good. Oh, hello. Oh, yay. Yeah, yeah. Yay. We're on our way to the local community school where the traditional dance event is held. 
and we can't wait.